Hey guys, and welcome back to more with Moro. So today's video is going to be, I want to call it a get it all done video. First of all, we have so much to do today. Second of all, my dad and sister are getting here tomorrow to visit with us. So we need to get the house somewhat presentable and kind of get the house ready for them. So we have a lot to do today. It's going to be a variety of things. That's why I want to call it a get it all done because we're literally going to try to get everything done today. Try is the keyword. I know I'm not jumping right into this video doing a voiceover. I kind of wanted to get on here and do an intro and kind of explain what we're doing just in case we don't do much of a voiceover in this video. So we have to clean the couch in the front room. I know in a recent video we showed us cleaning this couch. We have another couch in the front room that desperately needs to be clean. I have to clean Nolan's room, like strip his room of sheets to wash those. His room is kind of a mess right now. Let's see what else we have to do. Oh, one of the bigger tasks is organizing underneath our stairs. We have a storage closet right there and Oh, through all of these cleaning and organizing videos, we've just been kind of shuffling things to other places. Like, okay, we're gonna organize this part of the house and then move some things underneath the stairs. And we've been just continuously doing that. And it is a disaster right now. So we're gonna go through that. We are going to organize that. So those are the major tasks that definitely need to get done today. And then whatever else needs to get done, we will definitely include it in this video, but I just wanted to say that I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it gives you guys some motivation to get it all done in your house as well. So some cleaning motivation, cleaning inspiration. Hopefully I can provide that, or hopefully I should say we, because me and Frank are gonna be doing this video together today. Um, hopefully we can give you guys that motivation today and you guys can get it all done, like I said, in your house. So let's go ahead and get started. So are you guys ready for this? You ready to see? what I am working with. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that my I don't want to do this. My toilet. Oh my God. It, there is a mountain of stuff in here. So we have all of the kids arts and crafts, which is for the most part organized. Why? We have like a little trail right Why? here to get to it. But beyond that, no you're stepping it's over mine. air mattresses. <laughs> You're stepping over a big box of light bulbs. I don't know what that is. And 101 pillows. We're eventually going to like vacuum seal them so that we can There's condense them. Two. But for now, because this goes back a little bit, I'm going to probably just stack them back there because that's a majority of what's going on right here. That's my and mm. that's your potty. potty. That's going to be Scarlett's potty. We're going to hold on to that. There actually might be some stuff in here that we probably should take to the storage probably unit or we could use like the drone <laughs> it's a random drone this shelf's in here i wonder if we can we don't have the stuff for it do we what? to hang it up because i want to put it right sure. here for extra storage to put stuff on here but i don't know if we have this part to be able to hang it i did get this organizer for like the broom and Swiffer and stuff, but as you guys can see, we're not this utilizing it at all. Gotta take this one off. Yeah, we gotta take this off. One. This is um, like the hook to hang it up on the previous vacuum. So we, I think it's it's up here somewhere. Yeah. We have to reinstall that. Oh goodness! Well, I'm gonna go start on the couch. <laughs> As you guys saw in the previous clips, I stripped Nolan's sheets off his bed so that I could go ahead and put some laundry on. And I think I did that because I was procrastinating a little bit on getting started in this closet. Now to be completely honest, I think I've been procrastinating for the last two months. I know I mentioned previously that we've kind of been shuffling things around as we start and end new projects. And this is like kind of been like the final 
resting ground <laughs> to everything is this closet underneath our stairs. I mean, you guys see, and I talked about it a little bit, there's the most random and miscellaneous things in this closet. A majority of it is, I'm not gonna lie, is throw pillows and a tower of wreaths. So I have a lot of my decorations underneath there, but there's also a huge box of wrapping paper that I don't wanna let go of. And you, we have all the kids' art stuff, cleaning stuff, air mattress, crutches, everything super random i know but what i first wanted to do you guys probably saw me struggle trying to get back or towards the back of the closet because that's where i wanted to start first by starting to stack all the pillows because the majority of the stuff in there that was taking up the space was the throw pillows thrown around um so the first thing i wanted to do was literally go through everything figure out what i want to keep what i don't need what is trash and also what i can put in the garage for storage and not have it underneath here so I can kind of clear up the space in here. Um, so that really helps me anytime I'm trying to clean and organize is just go through everything. Go through the stuff that you need and you don't need, like I said, and that seemed to really, really help with decluttering this closet. Even stacking my throw pillows, which you guys will see here in a second, cleared up so much space and vacuuming. I even mopped in there because it was dirty. It, it needed a lot of TLC. All right guys, so here is the after. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself that I was able to pull this off because <laughs> you guys saw the before, it was so bad. So we have this light, but there's no lighting back here. So I had to use this flashlight, but I stacked all of my pillows. I'm like really exposing myself right now. Um, I stacked all of my throw pillows. Frank has not seen this yet, um, but now he will. And then all of my wreaths, and we have the air mattress stuff. Um, that's just like extra tiles left over from uh, Scarlet's playmat. I showed you guys already all of that. Have the space right here cleared for the kids to come in here and to get all their art stuff. Actually, that pony over there is gonna go in here too. And we found the ends to hang up this shelf. The only thing is we're missing some of these nails to go into them and then we don't have these hooks right here to hold up the back. So Frank's gonna go to Lowe's tomorrow and see if he can find some of these nails and hooks so that we can put it right here. We'll probably put it right there. He made a suggestion to put like the cleaning supplies there off the floor away from the kids and I think that's a good idea. So I'll probably do that. And um, that whole, actually that shelf came from the girls room when we did their closet makeover and I wanted to save it so that we could use it and we didn't have to throw it away or get rid of it. So it'll go right here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so out of breath like doing that while pregnant. Took out so much to me. Um, but that will go right here so we can have some extra storage space. So I think we cleaned this couch at least two or three other times, but since we have that red clay mud and that's kind of Luna's room, what I decided to do was take all the cushions off, use Brittany's new V8 Animal Dyson Vacuum Cleaner, and then go behind it and use our deep cleaner or our carpet cleaner, and really just try to get all of that stain red clay mud out of these cushions. Now, I will say it did okay, but I feel like there was just so much clay inside of those cushions that it wasn't able to get everything out. So I had to go back over two or three times to get all of the clay out, but you guys, it ended up looking amazing. It looked like a brand new couch when I was finished.
I also want to point out that I knew Scarlet was on the couch, but I did not know that she got off of the couch by herself. And if I would have known or have seen her trying to get off the couch, I probably would have had a little heart attack because she has never got up and got off of the couch by herself before. All right guys, so the next thing that I moved on to was doing a little reorganizing in our kitchen drawers. I decided to move some things around. Um, I decided to put all of the kitchen like hand towels over by the stove. I feel like it made sense for them to go over here, especially when you're cooking, I can just easily grab it. Um, I definitely recommend getting these bamboo drawer dividers. I love these so much. I have one on almost every single drawer in our kitchen just because it's so much easier to organize stuff. So I'll definitely leave a link down below. Um, this was the drawer that our hand towels used to be in and I decided to put, wait, I got like a whole bunch of these marshmallow sticks so we can make s'mores and different foods um, in our fire pit and then I decided to put put all of our reusable straws over here as well because the cabinet underneath has all of our tumbler cups and like smoothie cups. So I feel like it made more sense for them to be over here. So sometimes I'll do that. Let me know if you guys do that too. You'll just like randomly start shuffling things around in your kitchen. Um, did a little vacuuming really quickly since I'm talking about vacuuming. I just wanna say how much I love this vacuum that Frank got me for Mother's Day. Definitely 10 times better than the previous cordless vacuum that I have. So if you guys are looking for a cordless vacuum. I think Frank already talked about it, the Dyson V8. I definitely recommend getting that one. So between home projects and just throwing trash and like, well it's not really trash, but like boxes out into the garage. This is like an every two week thing. So I've got like home project stuff out. I've got a new car product out that I got and I was just trying out to see how it would go. Boxes, chairs, dust, like sawdust, just a total mess out here in the garage. This is what it looks like about every other week. So I just wanted to jump right in, even though I could have just made this one big time lapse, but kind of bouncing off of what Frank said, he usually has to clean the garage every two weeks. So I'm really glad that he showed like all of the candidness because you guys know if you have kids, it is so hard to keep anything clean and organized, especially when it does come to the garage and the kids are playing outside these days, they're not putting things back. So I'm really happy that he showed more of those candid things because, you know, we do these organized organization videos and cleaning videos but most of the time they're right back to square one if not the next day definitely the next day so this is just real life with kids and we, you know that's why we do these videos because we want to be able to show you show you guys that make relatable content for you guys and let you guys know that you're not only <laughs> the only ones cleaning forever and constantly because we definitely are too we're constantly making messes and not putting things back and you know that's just that's just the way of life but i will say i was watching this time lapse and seeing the before and then seeing the after i was very very impressed with frank's garage cleaning skills <music>
Took some time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around, captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I really needed to tackle Nolan's room. Usually, he's really, really good about keeping his room clean and organized. I really don't have to tell him to clean his room as much, but I think because you know, he's been playing outside a lot and the weather's been nice and he also is not really sleeping in his room. I think I've talked about this before, but him and Aria have been sleeping in her room lately and it's just been working out like that. So he hasn't really been in his room to clean it anyways. So I kind of wanted to go through everything and I also wanted to get the room ready for my dad since he was going to stay with us for the weekend just so he has like a nice clean room to stay in. And I was just thinking we never did a room makeover video for Nolan's room. You know, we did the girl's room and then we did Aria's room, but we did this wallpaper and didn't even this was like a couple months ago but we didn't even film putting it up i know we kind of showed it on our main channel in a vlog um i really wish that we would have done that and kind of made nolan room makeover as well but i'm still looking for ideas there's still a couple things that i want to do to his room i mean his room is pretty much almost done but if you guys have any ideas definitely let me know because i definitely want to add some more things to his room or some more decor you know we have the dinosaur theme going actually i just got him this like dino this really cool dinosaur neon light that i'll show you guys i put that up in this video i definitely want to put a rug in here because i think that would tie in with the rest of the room as well um so if you have any ideas definitely throw them our way All right, guys, so I want to get your feedback on something really, really quick as I'm cleaning the kids' bathroom because it kind of pertains to this. So me and Frank, we're talking about our next makeover project and we kind of want to see what you guys think or what you guys would like to see next. So either we're going to redo the kids' bathroom, our bathroom, or the laundry room. Leave in the comments down below which makeover you guys would like to see next because we have a lot of ideas on three of the rooms or the two bathrooms in the laundry room. We're just trying to decide what to do next and what you guys would like to see. I mean, regardless, we're gonna do all three videos eventually. I mean, it takes time to do these projects. So we just kind of want to get your feedback first. Is there anything you'd like to add, Frank? And give us an idea because I'm fresh out. I'm just kidding you guys. <laughs> But seriously though, give us an idea in this video because we have to start getting the material for it and I have to uh, lay out all the plans and then get started on the video. Yes, because we want to do it as soon as next week or have the video up as soon as next week. So have it done by next week. So you guys just let us know. So I know this is like an open end shelf, but what I ended up doing was doing like a double support here in the middle and these are both on studs. So we're hoping that 
we're not we're, gonna, we're not really going to put anything on the end here because it'll bend it down but we're going to from about here over is where we're going to start putting all um of i think cleaning things i'm not 100 sure not to put it over there right here right here because oh, okay. it'll bend down what if you do one of, another one of those right there because i don't think there's any type of stud oh. here and i've put them in stud so it's a lot stronger and a lot more durable um, because i know we'll have some cleaners and stuff up here well, well, I could do an anchor. I might do that a little later, but the next project I need to do. Oh, and you're mopping. I'm not going to mop on your. It's okay. Um, hey, guess yeah. what? The next project I'm getting ready to do is your curtains. Oh, okay. Your curtains. Well, I don't have the curtains yet. Oh, it's so. so but no, you can go ahead and put it up though. <laughs> Why am I putting curtains up? I'm going to get my curtains tomorrow. I can just go ahead and put Oh, them you're getting them tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hang up these week. curtains real quick, or hang up the curtain rod. That's the last thing for what me to do today. And this is the last thing that I'm doing. Yeah, because it looks ten times cleaner than what it was.